Hi everyone, Steve from Open Bomb, and welcome to creating a bill of material from Autodesk Inventor. Let's get started. I've already installed <clears throat> the Open Bomb add-in. I have visited the settings and I've signed in and indicated in this case I'm going to make a uh, I'm going to make a parts list. Okay, creating a bill of material with Open Bomb is a two-step process. First, we create the catalog, which is a master, an item master of all the parts that uh, you use in your company. It can be used in several bills of material. Let's take a look at what uh, what a catalog looks like. It's a place that you store all the information that's um, about uh, about the product in there. So as you can see, I've stored some information here about part numbers, I've got images, some links to some PDFs, and I've added a cost column as well, and I've included cost for each one of those. Cost belongs in the catalog and not in the CAD model. So there's, a, uh, there's what a good catalog looks like. Let's return to um, let's return to uh, Autodesk Inventor and create a bill of material. Next thing we do here, create updated bill of material. This is where OpenBOM goes through and picks up structure, uh, and usage uh, information about you know instances and how many of each exists and all that. So now that we built a we built a bill of material, we say okay, this bomb now is is nice, but it doesn't have cost and those other things that I've already defined about these about these parts. And the way that we get those connected is we use the parts and catalog command and we say let's connect our stapler catalog to this bill of material and remove, I'm going to remove the duplicates. And here we go. We now have a bill of material that has information from the bomb. We hear about part number and other things and information from the catalog. Uh, descriptions, pricing, uh, thumbnails and whatnot. I happen to like my thumbnails over on the left, so I'm going to use this operation here to move those over to the edge over on the left. Okay, so one final step I'd like, like to show you is the bill of materials where you do calculations and uh, about uh, costs and other things. So I'm going to add a property called extended cost, and I'm going to define that uh, using a formula, say right mouse edit formula, and that is going to be cost times quantity. And what I see here is that now extended cost is the quantity from my bill material, the cost from my catalog over here in extended cost. So if I was to bump this up to five of those springs, we'd see that our cost here went from 88 up to 220. And then finally, the thing we're all interested in is what does my bomb cost? So I I'm going to go ahead and enable the roll-up so you see I'm, I'm at $14.93. So um, to summarize here, we installed the add-in, we visited the settings, we created a catalog and then a bomb, and then finally we used that, the command inside the bomb parts and catalogs to connect the two together. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. We always appreciate your feedback at support at openbomb.com. Thanks. Have a great day.